Hey, what's going on guys? I wanna invite you inside of my house during this crazy time. I'm here to review a couple different ways that you can stay sane during this quarantine and maybe even come out of this whole ordeal a little bit stronger. Come on in. All right, so first and foremost, for anyone that's followed me for a little while, this probably shouldn't come as a surprise, but learning to meditate. I mean, now is the time. If you have a little downtime, if you have a little extra time, um, there's a quote that's always stuck with me, and it's, most of humanity's problems stem from man's inability to sit alone in a room. Well, now's the time to correct that, right? Learn to be present, learn to be conscious, just sit and focus on breath, right? You can start with five or 10 minutes. Um, again, I've done other videos on, on tips for meditating, but just to quickly review, um, get in a comfortable position and, and just bring awareness to your breath. Just concentrate on the breaths in and out. Thoughts will come, thoughts will go. Just observe the thoughts and then return to breath. Personally, I use this Muse device. Uh, I've shouted this out a couple times. You don't necessarily need it, but if you're someone that really wants to commit and dedicate to the practice of meditation, I recommend checking it out. Um, it helps, it's, it's really a biofeedback device, so it's monitoring your brain waves the entire time um, and really helps you get into a steady flow with your practice. I promise you, meditation is one of those things that you're not gonna realize immediate benefit. Well, you might, you might notice like reduced stress and you know just a calmer state of mind, but it's one of those things, if developed long-term, it's gonna provide you with a true advantage over I mean, over your former self. It really will. It's gonna improve clarity, improve focus. Um, when stress levels decrease and you're more mindful, it boosts creativity. It's really, really something worth investing the time in. Committing to reading. For me, I've carved out an hour a day. I want to spend an hour a day reading. I know it's easy to you know, fall on the couch, watch everything Netflix has, go on YouTube or whatever it might be and scroll through all the mindless stuff there might be out of there. And look, no knock on that. If that offends you, go see a different channel. I really, really have relished this opportunity to carve out an hour of reading. First thing I do, I wake up, first 30 minutes of the day, I make my coffee, I sit down, and I just dig in. I put my phone away, it's nowhere near me, and it's undistracted reading for 30 minutes. I also do the same before I go to bed. So I take another 30 minutes as I'm winding down, phone is off, we'll speak to that here in a second. Um, but really getting deep into the reading, understanding what I'm, what I'm digesting, and um, you know, learning something. That's what it's really all about. I'm, I'm viewing this whole situation as an opportunity to set and really um, establish good habits that will carry over when life returns to normal so that we have a stronger baseline, so that we have stronger habits established to really carry us into um, a more ideal life, really. All right, next piece of this whole puzzle, turning your phone off at nine o'clock. Hard stop, put it in airplane mode and put it away. You might ask, what does that have to do with the quarantine? And just remember, this is all tying back to building really quality, effective habits. You're gonna find yourself sleeping better. You might pick up on that whole reading habit um, and just net net, it's gonna be a good win for you and your productivity. That brings me to my next point, waking up half an hour earlier. Again, you have all this free time, you got all these you know, this, this spare time on your hands, why would you wanna possibly wake up earlier? Again, it ties into that productivity piece. We're trying to create positive momentum and get the flywheel going of you creating good habits and getting after it. And last but not least, get the home workouts going. Now is the time to get in the best shape of your life. Why not? You know what? If you're feeling real crazy, you might take those 30 minutes that you got in the morning and dedicate that time to improving your physical fitness. There's really no shortage of resources out there on the internet nowadays. YouTube, Instagram, whatever it might be, there's plenty of things that you can do at home. Just body weight, you can get a band, you can get, um, you know, like battle clubs, steel mace, whatever it might be, a kettlebell. There's all sorts of resources out there for you to improve your physical fitness right at home. No excuses during this downtime. Turn off the Netflix and get your ass in gear. 